Hello again, everybody, and welcome. Going to be playing some Wonder Doctor today. Need to make sure that all of my patients will all be nice and healthy after they see me. I must heal the injured. So let us begin. Let me just make sure we're all reset here, starting from scratch. We start the game. Here is my little doctoring train car. I suppose. Just, you know, railing along on this railroad track. Oh, little bird with scroll. I'll take that. Oh, it's a newspaper. Here we go. Weird diseases on the rise. Ghost sightings confirmed? Oh, wow, oh, wow, I wasn't done reading that. God dang it. I guess this is why you don't slap the newspaper out of your own hand while you're trying to read it. You're just going to drop it. Hello there, sir. It's Peter. He's an umbrella cutter. Hello, doctor. There's an itch on my face. Yep. We can see the causes of that problem. We'll just pop those right away. And see, those pluses... You can tell I'm healing him because of them. As you do associate medical healings to a plus sign. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. I know, chat, it's a little bit gross, but sometimes being a doctor isn't all fun and games. This was a terrible stream to start eating to. Well, uh, I don't know why you'd want to start eating to watching a doctor work. Imagine walking into a doctor's office just straight into somebody's room space and you're like, Hi, I'm going to eat lunch here now. Sit. And hello there, Fenisar. Can't watch the stream on my third party app. Have to use the Twitch app. Oh. The buzzing won't stop. I haven't slept for days. Does this count as a weird disease? Imagine walking into an, a doctor's office, extremely smelly, and you've got a bunch of flies buzzing around. And so you look and you say, I need a, a, an appointment. These flies won't go away. And the doctor just looks at you. I think you need to take a shower and call an exterminator. We can't help you here. Wow, wow, wow. If they pay, it's all good. It's true. I like this guy's a tater masher. He mashes potatoes. He's missing his face, though, I guess. So we need to reconstruct it. Where should his eyes even go? I don't know where his face, how his face was previously constructed. Let's put the eyes down here because he's very happy. He's got very large brain. We're putting these creases not treating them like eyebrows, but treating them like the flesh. When you smile, that gets shifted upwards over your eyeballs. We're going to give him this, like, it's a little toupee. Like, just a little tuft of hair there. And then big nose down here. See? And then I can put his hat right up with his little toupee hair. Hair strip forehead. Hell. And hello there, Kiwi Bazooka, and welcome to the stream. And next patient, please. Hmm. Oh, this guy makes buttons. Sold a month's work of buttons for a couple of damn potions. Potions, huh? Was he buying some snake oil to fix all of his problems? I don't know if you should be doing that. Probably be better to, I don't know, just have a more balanced diet. Let's pull that. Oh, all right. He's got a couple more of these weird lumps on his chest. Take care of those. You're welcome, sir. Now you can be on your way. Yup, people buying fake panaceas. Uh-oh. She... Uh um, you got something in your eye? I mean, it's more like you have something that's falling out from your eye. 
And she talked about elixirs there too. I think she might have been trying some panekas also. Pop away her little zips. And there you go. The pain is gone. See? See a doctor. Don't just drink some strange liquids. And goodbye, sick. And thanks for stopping on in. And here's Hans Mice. Quack. Hmm. Greetings, doctor. I bring good news today. We have a special offer for up and coming detergents like yourself. Every other respectable doctor already uses Quack Co potions. The patients love it. I shall leave this form here. To get you started, 15 batches are recommended. I will be back shortly to collect your order. Have a good day, sir. Uh, Quack Co Elixir Order Form. It brings mental sunshine. Quantity? Sign here. Oh no, by the sounds of it from those patients I had, I'm not so sure that getting potions, consuming them, is a very good idea. Might be a little bit addictive. Hello, doctor. Hmm. Well, since we can currently see there's nothing visually wrong, that means it's probably going to be like the guy, and yep. Got a couple of these that we need to take care of. And, ugh, left some bad rounds. So let's go ahead and just... Ah, bandage those right up. There you go, man. Saved your life? Oh, I know. I do that a lot. I save the lives of many as a doctor. Don't tell her about the amount I lose. Band-Aids make everything better. It's true. You got a headache? Put a band-aid on your forehead. It'll take care of that no problem. And no, I don't think that is a human. A new friend, perhaps? Sorry for all the rumblings. My name's Stein. Medical assistant at your service. <gasps> Chet! I've got a new helper. From now on, I shall aid you with the treatment of any, even incurable, diseases. Ooh. Why, you ask? I like your style. <gasps> Likes my style, Chet. Oh. You still try to actually cure people instead of just giving them these devil's potions. Shall we begin? Oh, one last thing. Please burn this quack coat order form, doctor. Their potions may alleviate pain, but they come with various side effects and lead to severe addiction. Well, I guess I'll just do as I'm told. I like Stein. Stein seems more trustable than the quack. So we're going to listen to him. Have that burned. A long candle. What? A, a rubbisher? What a beautiful day. He got the sores just straight up on his eyeball. Uh, that candle on top of my head shows the patient's health. Don't let it burn down all the way. Uh, there's only one treatment of incurable diseases. Well, with the help of Stein... He's got us covered on incurable diseases. With the power of placebos, I bet you could actually fix some headaches by putting a band-aid on forehead? Probably. Or it could be entirely coincidental. Oh, see, and then slowly we can see the patient die. Alright, and then we just put a band-aid right over his injured eyeball? No problem. Oh my god, what the fuck? Try not to touch the red spikes? Uh, you just powder those away now. There you go, sir. I I hope you'll do fine now. And there he goes. I suppose? Reminds me of the eye wasp lady from the Sunless Sea. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Imagine a doctor just being like, oh my god, what the fuck? When you take your shirt off. That would be good. You walk into your doctor's office and you've got this giant weird lump and they're just like, what the fuck is that? My head's still aching, even though I drank three bottles of elixir. Um, the elixir strikes again. What? Fucking think I have to leave? Well, thanks for coming in to attempt to watch Why the Witches Burn. It's understandable if you can't stick around. And hello there to you too, GLRP. And we see she's got some thorns, so not seeing any little bumps though, so she probably has them on her chest, huh? Or she actually needs some schmonko pills? Well, ma'am. Did I give her the wrong one? Stein, why did you give me multiple pills if some of them were bad? Maybe it's the case that I'm supposed to give the thorns the green ones and I give her the red one? Ooh! Better have a look inside the old ledger. <laughs> okay. Feed. Circle. Red. Okay, see there's different shapes here. This one is all green. Plus circle, plus heart. We'll try giving her this one this time. Rather than, you know, just kind of dumping out a bottle of pills being like, mm, this one looks good, and then you just hand that to your patient. I owe you my life. I mean, I did kill you in an alternate timeline, so... You hand out poison with the actual medical supplies? Look, sometimes poison is an excellent treatment for problems, okay? I feel spooked. I sense a ghostly presence, Doctor. A classic sign of aphasia confusa. Is haunted considered a disease? I'm afraid this will make the treatment a bit more complicated. Uh... Take off your clothes here, sir. Let oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I guess some of these patients are gonna get haunted. And... Alright, now we're gonna just swat the ghost away. Get out of here, stupid ghosts. Ugh. Remember to bring around your little fly swatter, chat. So that you can exercise ghosts via just swapping them away. Most meds are poison if you take too much? That doesn't sound right, Infernus. I think you're lying. But hello and welcome anyway. I'm gonna take a look at my ledger. I know you have very little experience when it comes to medications. So don't worry. I've got you covered, being the doctor here. Send in the next patient, please. Yeah. Mustard man? What does a mustard man do? Does he just make mustard? My face feels kind of weird. Please, doctor, give me your strongest potions. Okay, okay, I'll have to take your word for it then if you are a doctor. And, if, and I am. How can something that heals you be bad as well? I mean, think of something like a scalpel. If you just give yourself a huge cut, I don't think that's exactly good, but sometimes you need a scalpel in order to access areas to do some corrections. And I don't have any potions, sir, so I can't help you out there. Can't find anything, doctor? I mean, he looks fine. <laughs> Use the magnifying glass and take a closer look. Why does Stein hide away all my medical supplies until I seem to need them? Oh my god. It's an x-ray magnifier. Alright, we got the bones. We got rib cage here. He doesn't have a heart. Actually, I'm only able to see his skeleton, I suppose. Oh. Aha. I've located the problem. Uh, uh, uh. Is there something? Ah, oh, there's more. I see. And then after I find everything, then I can do it. 
better, but my stomach stomach keeps on rumbling. He's gonna die. I've taken too long to heal him. Stein's freaking out over there. There he goes. His little soul flame flying away. Well, looks like another death. Add that to the tally, chat. All right. No, yes, I need my magnifier back. Thank you. So we've got some of the little dots up on his skull. Clear those right out. Stomach keeps on rumbling. All right, remove your clothing, please. And we'll, t oh, see, there's some more. One, two, three, four. Oh my God, so many. Wait, there we go. Found them all. Now I need to race against the candles burning. So we make sure we heal him before he's dead. See, because beforehand, look at how happy his little soul flame is. That gets all the way down, it dies. Now be on your way, sir. Why are all these people coming to the doctor right as they are about to die? You know, I think that's what a lot of people do. They say, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm dying, and then they go to the doctor. Can I get a band-aid, Kako? Of course you can, Moth. I grab my box of band-aids. Oh! They're the ones with the happy cartoon characters on them. I take my band-aid out, I open it up, and I stick it right on you. There you go. You know what? I grab out another band-aid and I hand you a second one. There is an extra in case you need it later. And hello there, Moth, and welcome to the stream. Thank you for taking the time. I like her little thorn pieces are positioned kind of like horns. All right, we want to feed her the plus pill. Oh my God, why did I pull out so many? Get out of here. There you go, ma'am. Now I'll just wipe away those thorns. I'm very grateful. Yes, you're welcome. Now move along. W would you would you kiss it better? Of course. I I grab out another band-aid, this one for slime. I open it up, I stick it on, and with blah. Here you go. All better. Can I go put a band-aid in my hair? What? What? Your hair looked like it needed some healing. The doctor, I have to go now. No time to explain. What? Stein? What? Stein? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Quack was coming. <laughs> ah, nice to so, so nice to see you again, doctor. Everything filled out? Please hand over your order form and I will... Personally, make sure your order gets here as fast as possible. What? You burn it? Oh, I shouldn't have done this, Doctor. Everyone needs par potions. Sooner or later. Oh, what? In his fury, he knocked on my cremator. My furnace. Mm. That was close. I should probably explain a few things. He goes to the sink and fills up a few bottles. All right, here you go. Thanks, Quack. It was just some water. Uh, recipe? I used to work for Quack Co. Weird rock statue guy used to work for that crow? Every day, we would create potions to fool the sick. These potions were strong very dangerous. At first you would feel much better, but after a short while, all you wanted was another dosage. After we created elixir and saw what it did to people, I couldn't take it anymore. I wanted out. With some help, I escaped and have been searching for a new place, a new doctor. As I left, I managed to get a hold of this secret potion recipe. Quack Co. did not want anyone to create this potion, and I have no idea why. We should brew it to find out. Make sure it doesn't harm anyone. Am I, I hold this recipe in my hands. Am I going to have to brew this and consume it myself to make sure it's safe? 
Mm. Wonder how close this is to 100 years ago? Good question. I pull down my almanac. Do not, not brew this, well quack. I don't know if I'll listen. I like the little note next to it right here. Do you think I wrote that or did Stein write that? Weird recipe. Rusty nail, goro beans, and a magma heart. Hard to find. Are we going to be able to brew this, Stein? Do we have the ingredients for it? Oh, look, I can also go back and look at this newspaper I accidentally threw on the ground. Medicine now more expensive than ever. Have you stacked up on potions? It brings mental sunshine. I see. Hmm. Looks like we need a rusty nail to start with. Should be easy. There's metal everywhere in these lands. Let's keep our eyes open. Oh, I see. So we're going to collect these recipe components as we travel the world. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the more stuff we burn, the more research scraps we can add to our almanac. How does that work? I just throw paper over here in this furnace and then whoosh, I suddenly get some papers that tell me more recipe information. I don't know if that really makes sense, but okay. Burning to unlock stuff, just like Little Inferno. Hmm. This way we can keep track of all the weird and curious things we encounter. If you say so, Stein. My body has been feeling bubbly as of late. Are we gonna have to have the magnifying glass for this? Let's remove your shirt. Yes. What? Oh, haunted again. That's no good. One, two, or th those are insects. How did I not see those before? Oh my god. Looks like she's got lice. Oh, what? She's got bubble protection on her? You gotta make sure those bugs stay where they are at. Um, hiding bubbles. I don't know what to say, doctor. Say thank you. Thanks. Bug condoms? Oh my god. Next, please. Oh, look! This guy makes paper bags! Wow. Doctor, I'm very sick. Also terribly sick. Look at the sickness oozing from every pore of mine. Hmm. Yes, yes. You can see it. Here, here, here is just everywhere. This man just screams ill. Hello? Doctor? I'm still sick over here. You know, now that I'm looking at his pores again, I think he's looking just fine. Yeah, I think he's just he's just in here trying to go, boo-hoo, I'm sick, I swear. Now give me some potions, thanks. And then he'd leave. But I don't have any potions for him. This man is perfectly healthy. <laughs> I don't feel healthy at all, but you're the doctor, doctor. I'll show myself out then. Fucking hell, it didn't give me any potions. <laughs> okay, it looks like I can also just pull out that almanac whenever I care to. Next patient. This guy, this guy is looking a little bit rough. Hello, Wonder Doctor. Hello. Let's give you a nice examination here. Oh, Thorn, we got a blister. We got some protected injuries. There's some more little blisters. We'll pop those first. Now we can clear out the injured spots. Stick the little band-aids on them. Kiss them afterwards. What? What? And then remove those thorns. And there we go. This patient could really use a syringe injection? Hmm. Ooh. Why potions when you can have rainbow injection? Ah. 
Uh, eh? Ah, there we go. Back to work. Freshly cured. I pet him. Yes, you're welcome, sir. Go back to work. Have a good day. <laughs> Gay the paint Oh my god. <laughs> it was rainbow. I've had this melody stuck in my nose for ages. Stuck in my nose? I look at her nose. It is very large and wide here. Hmm. Nose melody. I. You know, sneezing and sniffing is kind of like a nose melody, right? <laughs> time to get melodical. But don't worry, just follow my lead. It's time for a rhythm minigame, right? That's how we're going to medical it away? Imagine healing somebody by squishing down on their nose, and it makes sounds. Hopefully, it's only their nose where this is going to be the case for. You, you can be on your way now. Thank you. I've been dying for a cigarette all day. Uh, I, I think you should maybe lay off the cigarettes, sir. I like even these bugs have the little blisters on them. And I'm squishing their blisters and then killing them. So it's like I'm healing the bugs before I just take them out. I like how happy this guy was, though, despite all of these bugs around. Like, look at his smile. He's so nice. He pain is gone. Ah. Yes, you're welcome. Let's go ahead and burn these bugs. And we'll call in our next patient. Wait. Oh. oh. A new recipe scrap. Put that away, my almanac. Breeding pool? Oh. Kobold eggs. I guess those bubbles were actually the eggs of kobolds. They feed off of disease and injuries, and then they hatch. Parasites. I, I love him smiling as he comes in like this. I am in severe pain, smile. Just had some bubbles over your eyes. Unless there's something worse. Oh, another haunted patient. Make sure I have... Why are there bugs inside these blisters? I don't like that. That makes me think of something like... Maggots, honestly. There we go. All right, get out of here, ghost. Get... Ugh. I don't know what to say, doctor. Thank you. That's what you say. And I will reply, you're welcome. I pat him on the head. I hope you stay healthy. Now be on your way. Oh, it's time for another musical nose. And this guy's eyes isn't looking too good either. And look at that. Nos resubscribing for 11 months. Hey, hey, streamer. I'm your number one fan. Streamer. Streamer, look at me. I look over at Nos. I give him a thumbs up. Thanks for resubscribing for 11 months, number one fan. Appreciate it. Here's your chair right over here for the spot. For the number one fan. Been saving it just for you. I wish I had number one. Well, 
We do have the number two position open. You could always enlist for that. Someday I'll have a first badge. R right? I don't know. Can I be number five? You'd have to apply for it. Make sure you fill out the proper paperwork. And we'll see to it if you're able to get that fifth position or number two slime. And by the way, hello there in flame and harmony optional and welcome to the stream. And he's also asking for elixir potions. I don't have those. All right, that's musical number one. Oh, I guess we're getting the shot in the eyeball. There you go. Rainbow Injection. Okay, you know the song Rainbow Connection? Forget that. It's now the Rainbow Injection. Someday we'll find it. The Rainbow Injection. And I can't sing anymore because clearly DMCA concerns. I was just about to type that. <laughs> Don't think I can watch this game? That's understandable as harmony optional seems to also be glancing around very fast like what the hell so many people are squeamish yep that's why many people would not be able to do be doctors that's why i'm the doctor here oh my this poor soul suffers from a shrunken face i like his candles burning down as i talk to stein he can't even talk the poor man Let's go ahead and heal. Oh, I missed. Let me just... There we go. <laughs> Injection, and then just the face goes... Oh, God, I can feel my face again. <laughs> Watch real human autopsy and fine with it a lot, but I'm not okay with bugs where they don't belong. Yeah. He's 10 out of 10 now. It's because we brought up his anime levels. Larger face on your head. Greater anime. Ooh, he's a bell hanger. My body is weak. Uh, apparently his eyes were never in his skull. Let's put those back away. Clear out the breath blisters. Kill the thorn. There you go, sir. Oh, now he's just gonna do nice little hops like a little rat. Oh my- Oh my god! <laughs> he actually hopped his way home. He even left this nice little rusty nail for me. Thank you. We'll stick it over there in the blender. Next, we need some Goro beans. Won't find them in this part of the country, though. So let's travel to Green Realm. They've had a catastroph catastrophic berry pimple outbreak. Good doctors are in sore need. Well, that sounds just fine to me. Let's go. Act 2. The Garden Folks. Sounds juicy. I don't like the idea of calling pimples or blisters juicy. You reach your hands down to a pimple and you pop and you're just like, mm, mm, so juicy. And then you look at your doctor in horror and fright. Please do not describe it that way. I don't like it. Green Realm, home of the fruity garden folks. People here are known for their hospitality and jovial nature, but some hold rather old-fashioned views. Uh-oh. Mm, my moist boils. <laughs> no people who fetishized pimple popping? Ugh. Ugh. Blah. People do that with everything. Oh, 
wine merchant, huh? I like his carrot nose. It seems like he might have gotten into an accident at some point and lost the tip of his carrot nose. Bless your heart, doctor. I fell asleep in the berry fields and now my body is hurting all over. Well, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that thorn. The thorns have noses. They don't like it. They're not happy. Ooh. Okay, we're also going to have to time or ow popping now so I don't hurt myself like I did there. Or really hurt my patients because it seemed like it did more pain to him than me. Loving does not empty the heart, nor giving empty the purse. I don't know what that... Okay. Have a good day, sir. Butter Carver. Hmm. The patient seems to be awake and asleep at the same time. He suffers from eternal sleep. Slap him back to this. Yes! Oh yeah, chat. Here we go. This is the real doctoring I want to do. Just slap the patient better. Hell yeah. I slap the patient to hell. Again? It is working. Whack. Oh. Whack. One more time. <laughs> and look, now he's fine. Slapped back to gun health. What? Where am I? Oh, a doctor. What a lucky coincidence. My stomach has been hurting a lot lately. He didn't even realize he came in here and I woke him up from an eternal slumber. Uh-oh. He also is apparently still losing his health. Sorry, let me just, uh, we're gonna have to, like, speed run. There we go. Just barely say, this is all he's got left of his life now. Good luck, sir. Don't get sick again, okay? Might be the last time you get sick. What happened to you? I've only schlaff a doctor. Excuse me? And good night, Finisar. Thanks for stopping on by. Drink a full bottle of nectar. Ugh, blessed be it. I... I don't know what that means. Seems like Quackco has developed a new potion. Well, I guess their new potion has a side effect of eternal slumber? Uh... Something probably akin to being blackout drunk, perhaps? Mm. Worms, worms, worms! And get them off me! Don't worry. Oh my god, they're so angry! It's like whack-a-mole, actually, too. They pop out. You whack them. Boom, all better. Come on, guys. There we go. Easy. I've played whack-a-mole before. I've got experience. Have a good day, ma'am. I don't even want to... Oh, oh, no. Imagine if you had little tiny creatures like that popping out of your flesh. Holy hell. Black em all reminded me of coin game. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I should play coin game on my stream at some point. That would be a good time. Yeah. I watched way too much monsters inside me. I can't handle that stuff now. I remember being young when monsters inside me first came out and holy shit, I liked that show. I would wait for the new episodes to come out, and I would watch them play the first, like, when they would come out. I was ready. Here I am, small child, glancing at the time. Oh, yes, here comes monsters inside me. I'm ready for the parasites. Hehehehe. <laughs> 
I'd be fine with it if they weren't killing me and uh, up and chill. Imagine just keeping all the parasites that you got and being like, but they're my friends. Oh lord, my chest feels like something is crawling underneath. Well, let's take a look, sir. What the fuck? Looks like we will need the scalpel. Slice him open to see what's hiding under his skin. Well, that's an interesting scalpel. All right, here we go. Whoop. Okay. Oh, more whack -a like the little whack-a-mole guys. Actually, there's just one. Then we've got normal blisters and the berry blister, and then we kill that bug. It's better to give others a piece of your heart than a piece of your mind. I don't know. I kind of like my heart. I think I'll keep it. Let's also just go ahead and leave those patches we just chopped off completely open. No bandages or band-aids on them. Be on your way, sir. Thank you. And thank you, Blue Fox, for resubscribing for six months. Appreciate it. Hi, it's me again. I love you. Let's meet. Teehee. We'll go out and get a nice cup of coffee. Mm, slurp, slurp. Thank you. Appreciated. Chat, please stop eating during this. We're gonna have to put a no food warning for the stream. Oh, this guy's a bird specialist. My body is weak. It seems that he borrowed somebody's telescope here and they put some of that black ink around it so he brought it up to his eye and oh no, he got pranked! <laughs> Careful! Dodge those blood-sucking bleaches! What? What? Oh, oh my god. Uh, yeah, avoid those. But I love that the weird ghost guy that comes out, he's so happy about those blood-sucking leeches. Ow. Look, that ghost guy was just- he's just having a good time up here. He loves haunting this person. But you gotta get out of here. Okay, ghost? A clear conscience is a soft pillow. Uh, I don't know what that means. Be on your way. The fuck is going on? I'm a doctor. I'm healing sick people. Oh look, this guy's just an orange peeler. His thorns? Hang on. Does he have thorns with thorns on them? Or are his thorns just so huge they look like antlers now? I'm not sure. We must diagnose this. Hello, Wonder Doctor. Another job for the scalpel. But be careful, don't cut the red spikes. Don't cut them? Normally we want to get rid of them. I guess we don't. Oh, I guess we're trimming his antlers first? Oh, okay, he's not supposed to have these then. Chop them right off. Oh, that's our first bean. The beans come from people? I don't know if I like that. Also, our patient's dying. Uh, where's the last- Okay, there we go. Don't die on me! Get- Ugh, I missed him while he was popping out. Get that. Oh, 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 no! him. Let's see this patient we have never seen before. Oh, wowie zowie, look, they've got some antlers. Are those from the thorns, or are they related at all? Oh, it seems like I'm going to cut them off anyway. Ha 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 ha. Oh, look, it looks like the beans come from the people. I don't think I like that. Throw it in my ingredient container. Definitely the first time we're healing this patient. Did not lose them in an alternate timeline. Nope. 
And now we uh, just get rid of these blisters. Yep. Don't, it, you know, wiggling around your arms like that doesn't help me with the healing process. Uh-oh. Put a band-aid there and uh, 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 mwah, another little kiss to make it all better. Human beans. Comedy. Amazing. How does he do it? Everybody loved that one. Good. We're making progress on the recipe. It's like only three more ingredients left. We just need two more beans. Indeed. Let's see if we can get them. Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. Town amuser. Oh, party doctor in the house. Wahoo! A savage chain you got here. You seem all right. Good, good. If you ever want to party hard, come to our mansion and show this. Which crew? Yes, you seem doc. And party on. Oh, hell yeah. What a merry man. Hell yeah. And thank you for following. It is jolt appreciated. This certainly is a cacophony. Yeah, that guy was having a real one. And apparently you can go get it down at his mansion. An invitation to a party. Party all welcome. Imagine receiving a party invitation and it's just that person's face that says, hey party you're invited and that's it no other information no clue of what kind of party it is just, just it's a party happening times you don't know when maybe the party's all the time it's a strong power move i guess does it let me burn it no sugar does she make sugar or does she sugar things Oh, an apple a day was supposed to keep the plague away. Oh, woe is me. Uh-oh. I think you're supposed to actually eat the apples. <laughs> I just slapped. Just slapped the apples right off of her. These aren't supposed to be here. And then I slap them off. Get out of here, apples. Oh, I accidentally poked that thorn with my scalpel. Oh, shit, I did it again. Uh, she might die now, unless that was it. Oh, phew. Even though I made a couple of mistakes, she's all fine now. It's too bad I can't keep these apples, though. I'm just gonna throw them right into the furnace. Hey, I was also the eggplant in Mo. It's true. Thy heart is pure and simple, sir. Uh, I guess. I've never taken a look at my heart, but I'm pretty sure hearts are fairly complex, so I don't know if I agree. Here's bird with newspaper clipping. Berry pimple outbreak. Folks are going broke, selling it all for potions. New doctor in town. Any good? Why, I think I'm pretty good. I, I hope people have been leaving positive Yelp reviews for me. Have you seen this man? Mm. A legal party in the fields planned by eggplant man? Beware these are not apples. Uh-oh. There's also quack code nectar relieves in an instant. Apparently, that eggplant man's party was illegal. Chat. Have you ever wanted to attend an illegal party before? Because, oh, it seems we've been invited to one. Hmm. 
And hello there, Tuglaw, and welcome to the stream. Cool kids only, yes. Because well, everybody knows breaking the law is the coolest thing you can do, I say, nodding, definitely believing that statement. Well, now we know that's true. We know it's in the fields now, so we can head right over and we can party it up with Eggplant Man illegally. I like their mouth here. It looks kind of like a pea pod. Here for my yearly beetle checkup, doctor. Beetle checkup. And look, you can see on his face, he has a full carrot nose. Thus, clearly, we have met some patients who have lost part of their noses. There you go, sir. Oh, oh, uh oh. Need some pills, too. Apparently, we have to feed him weird green bug insect. Yep, with the long legs here. There you go, sir. All you my life. No problem. No problem. It's what I do. Don't tell him about the patients we've lost, though, chat. And we've also got another piece for our almanac. Let's see what we have. Hmm. So we've got this berry pimple outbreak. Harvest around the year. Look, here's a guy holding a little pitchforky. And then, a very soothing sound. This is corn. This one over here is rotten. Apparently, these are their mouths and they've got corn teeth? Hmm. Well, next patient, please. Wow, this guy is super gray. He, oh. A minister, huh? He's not having a good time. Individual seems to be suffering from monochromitis vulgaris. Uh oh, he is. This is his disease. Makes him all gray. The only known cure is severe slapping and a strict diet of insects. Oh, the slap cure again? If somebody's feeling down, Chet, slap him. Now feed him some beetles. Very well. We've got long horizon line and little squiggly line, uh, legs. Right here. It seems to be working. Slap the patient one more time. Oh, you don't have to tell me that one twice. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Slapped color right into him. Not so sure about this prognosis. Excuse me. Take a look at that color now. Before he was gray, now he's filled with color. I'm a very good doctor. Thank you. He is cured and he may be sent on his way. A gem maker? I like this person has a pepper for their mouth. It gives them some very red looking lips. I can't get any field work done anymore. I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. Are they missing? Oh my god. Their hands are fake. We better fix that. With some broccoli hands. And it just grows and attaches themselves right to their shirt. No problem. And then we'll clear away the blisters. We can get rid of the thorns, and then we can send them on their way, all nice and healthy. You're welcome. Legally distinct from bug snacks. Yeah, since all of these people are all part vegetable, it seems. Do you think they grow from the ground? Oh, oh, oh it's them again. Uh-oh. The crow? Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi there. I see you've got a very nice mosquito on your mask. Uh. Ah, good day, doctor. Didn't this game come out before Bug Snacks? 
Definitely. It has come to our attention that you are treating patients without the necessary paperwork. I'm supposed to have been doing paperwork? Did they always have that hat flower? This is a different quack. So, it could be, you can see for example, they have a different potion here in their pocket. So, it's likely the one we knew at the last area we were at did not have this dead flower. Just as the last doctor, or quack, did not have a mosquito bug either. Your paperwork is the party invitation? <gasps> All right, here you go, sir. In addition to this, and in fact, much more incriminating, you are not prescribing quack co potions. This is a breach of quack co bird law, paragraph three, which says that every doctor must prescribe the daily minimum quantity of 10 quack co potions without exception. This is your last opportunity to redeem yourself. I'll put you down for a, an obligatory order of 50 cases to our newest potion. Nectar. Nectar. Relieves in an instant. Um, Stein just came back extremely angry while Quack was still here. Oh my god. You Quacks are a disgrace! Stay far, far away from us and never return! Huh. If it isn't Stein, Unit 33. Indeed, we were wondering where you had run off to. Can't wait to tell upper management. Everyone will be very pleased with me. Stay right here. We will be back. Stein, I think you should have stayed hidden. Then stay out! <laughs> we better hurry with that recipe, Doctor. Fortunately, chat, I know you're very concerned about that bird law. Yeah, birds after you. Don't worry, I'm not a bird. I don't live in bird land. So I don't have to adhere to bird law. I don't think... I don't think we're even currently in bird land, so... How are people getting on board our train? It never stops moving. They jump. They just wait a little further up the railroad track. They time it. One, two, three, wah! And then they land on my train cart, no problem. Are we beholden to veggie law here? I would say yes, because here in the green realm, they do follow green law. So we do have to follow and abide by their code. Does he have frosting eyes? What's with this pink outline? Never trusted doctors. God and nature are my dentists. When my toothaches got worse, my medium and dad insisted I visit a real doctor. Ugh, you know how it is. Uh, well, I'm glad you did, sir, because I don't know if you would have... Oh, hang on. Musical teeth now, too. Not just musical noses, but musical teeth. Mm, my, my teeth are spinning? I look at his teeth. They don't look like they're spinning. You need to wake up, sir. Oh, shit, we got another human being. Like that from their face? Put it in my ingredient department. And there we go, Chet. Another human be I mean Goro bean. Hee <laughs> hee. Bird law is like the Geneva Convention. It's supranational. Well, shit. Ah, marry, meet, marry, part. And marry, never meet again. Or marry, meet again. I don't know. I'm out of here. Ah, <laughs> ah, Wait, his teeth are still fucked? No, because we did those musical playings on them. So they're fine now. 
I hate beans. Well, that's all right. We're using them to brew up a special potion anyway. One bean left to find. Let's cure some folks. Well, bring in the next patient then. A beekeeper. Oh, they're happy too. Smile. Nights get quite lonely out in the cornfields. Oh, well, I wish someone would dance, drink, and laugh with me. Funny you say that, I say, grabbing my party invitation and placing it within their hand. All right, berry blisters. Oh, get rid of those. Check their chests. Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me, you guys should... Hang on, what are these, these bugs? Were what was on the quack's little eye frame on their mask. Ugh. Yes, have fun at that party, by the way, man. A doctor, do wish the best. I want to dance, I want to cry. Ooh. Garden doll. I guess this is- I guess since I told her about that party, she's like, I don't need this fake friend anymore. You can keep it. And then she left. So, not money, but I guess this is money enough, right? It's more than what other people have been giving me, which is not- Oh! He's back! Hey, Doc! I might have partied a bit too hard! Uh-oh. Yeah, look at his head. He ain't looking too good now. We were dancing in the fruity patches, and I got some icky things stuck on me. Well, don't worry, I'll take care of that for you, but oh my god, sir, I think if you could stop partying for just a minute, this would be a lot easier for me to, you know, apply my, eh, 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 apply my medical in to you. Eh, eh, there we go, got it. Hey, cheers, doctor! Party on! And then he leaves without putting his shirt back on. Wait, never mind. Let him die? What? But how is he supposed to party when he's dead? Hang on. Isn't this the wanted guy that was in the paper? Uh. Oh, but look at his ring! Don't tell anyone I was here or you won't be around for the next gherkin harvest. Uh, uh, hey, I'll keep it to myself then. I, I don't know what these are. Aha, I see. Just take care of them when they're all playing music and they're not all spiky, I guess. Kill these bugs while I wait. There we go. Final bug? Perfect. Now be silent, or I'll need to have another chat with you. <sighs> I steal his ring. I put it down over here. A wedding ring. I'm married now. <laughs> Thanks, pal. <laughs> What a dummy. Next patient, please. Oh, it's the pastor. Oh, everything hurts. Well, I can fix that up, no problem. Uh, excuse me, come back out. There we go, thank you. And we'll just cut off these apples. Unfortunately, we're not prescribing our slap treatment to get rid of those apples. We're just cutting them off. Ow! Or I just said ow, but it wasn't me who was in pain. It was the guy we're trying to heal. Yeah. There we go. Kept missing there. People with a heart for God have a heart for people. Yeah, whatever you say, Pastor. I throw the apples into the furnace. Congrats. Thank you. Remember, chat, anytime you want to be married, just steal someone's wedding ring and you've steal uh, and you've stolen their spouse. It's easy. 
My wife husband now. What's next? Spine? I, I can't tell what that one is. Sitchng? Sitchni? I don't know. Put that away. Next patient, please. Ostrich feather dealer? Can I buy some feathers, please? Why best do height, doctor? First, my precious wedding ring got stolen and now I caught a cold. Oh, excuse me, sir. What monster takes a bride's ring on her wedding day? Funny you say that about a wedding ring. Let me just... Ah. I didn't really want a spouse anyway. That seems like a lot of commitment. And boy howdy, I am very committed right now to being a doctor. I don't have time for romance or love. Healing only. Avoid that weird bug. Oh, I'm gonna chop all of these leaves off one at a time? Alright, very well. We do want to make sure... Ow! Got that bug just at the end. Throw away the apples, and there you go. Oh, wow, there it is, my ring. Thank you so much for finding it. This wouldn't be my spouse because it was their ring. So whoever their spouse is, that's who would be my spouse. The rings connect you. Here, take this scrap I found while out and about. Ooh, thank you. I take it. What sort of information point do we have? Beetle pie? Step one, add beetles. Step two, then mix with dough. Step three, bake for five minutes. Shant, guess what we're having for lunch. Make sure you go out and collect some beetles. I think I've already got some dough out in my fridge. We can slap them together and bake them for five minutes and boom, chat snack. What temperature? It doesn't specify, so I imagine it's whatever temperature that you'd like. Ooh, the celery sage. Never thought we'd get to meet them. They call me celery sage, yeah? I am the elder of these fruitful lands. Thank you for curing my folks. We shall never forget your help in times of need. I heard that you were looking for a magma heart. Ah. He hot read about these things. Quite rare indeed. Some even argue their existence. There is said to be one at the heart of every mountain. Maybe try that old coal mine to the south. Hmm. What do you think, Stein? After we get the last bean, we should probably pay a visit to those mines then. All right, Chet, you know the plans now? We need one more bean, and then we're gonna head on down to those mountains. Hello, doctor. Hello, Mr. Shepherd. There we go, musical. I have to like stop talking when the musical sections happen because I have to be able to hear what sounds being made exactly. Ah. Pop the berry blisters, take care of these thorns. And there you go, sir. Oh, better. I pat him on the head. The pain is gone. Yeah. Farewell, sir. That's right, I gotta listen closely to the teeth. Put my ears right up to them. A lemon dealer? Oh. Bless your heart, doctor. Um, bless yours too, I guess? Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! Stupid blood leeches. I hate them. Hmm. What else? What else you have? Ah, last one found. Wah! Can I take out the bugs? Get rid of the horn blisters. 
One more. Eh, eh. No! Uh, I like the blood leeches falling on my own hand bring my patient closer to death. I don't know how that works. I suppose my own health is linked to my patient? That's all I can assume. Because the blood leeches are not falling onto my patients, they're falling onto me. So why would it bring their life? What if my life is connected to all of my patients? Eh. I steal their own life rather than me taking any health damage, I transfer it to my patients. They start dying in my place. That's the real reason I'm a doctor, is I've actually got a very serious health condition, and in order to survive, I have to leech the life off of people. But I need to do so discreetly, so I pretend I'm a doctor, and I heal people, when in actuality, I'm partially just drawing away from their life force. That's when we have patients that come in that don't seem very hurt, start dying on me is because I'm drawing their life force away. Isn't that a thing in, like, Bright? I don't know. If Bright is a game movie, movie, something, I haven't seen it before. Thanks. Be on your way now. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. Another paper bag maker? Hang on. You've been here before. I remember you. You were the I swear I'm sick, I'm feeling so bad man, but you were perfectly healthy. It's me again. Mm. The buzz flies kept me awake all night. I'm not seeing any flies. Oh my god. Oh my god. He just threw a couple of little pieces of cardboard with drawings of the bugs on them. Just threw them around. Look at these bugs. Oh, they're keeping me up all night. He's throwing them out. Bzzz, bzzz. There they are. Yup. Are, are those made from cardboard? They sure look like it. Uh, 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 uh. No, they're real flies. Can't you see? But why can no one understand me? <sighs> I throw them into the furnace. Please, sir. I've got patients who are actually sick. I think he has a crush on you. They just want your attention. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm sorry, but... There's people that I actually need to treat. Another time, maybe, sir. Has he been following us? I mean, how else would he get here? And basically everybody has to follow us? Seeing as we're on a moving train cart. Hmm. Dangerous. High priority. Mm, I see, I see. So those mosquito -y bugs are very dangerous. High priority. I'm in a commuter relationship to medicine. Committed relationship to medicine. That's right. Doctoring is all I need in my life. There we go. It'd be good if I went out and, I don't know, got myself a pair of gloves that would make it so I could slap away some of these spiky sort of disease components, like when they get those blisters with thorns on them. If I just had a pair of gloves, I could probably take care of them much more easily. Eh, bug, excuse me. One. Eh, there we go. I got them. Pretty blessed, doctor. Yes, you too, sir. Have a good day. I hope those broccoli hands serve you well. Although, since our doctor's office travels around at 
is kind of a commuter relationship. You know, that's not wrong. Both a committer, uh, committed, and commuter relationship. <gasps> no, eggplant man. Oh, doctor, I feel so strumbig. I can barely dance. Oh, the last time he came by, sick. And now he's just really going bad. He's so bad he can't even continue partying. Let me check my almanac. We want a smiley face, squiggly legged, celebrational bug. See that? We want the happy bug. Give it back to him. The music did slow down too, yeah. Poor eggplant man's having a rough time. He also has the final bean. That is the last bean. Grab that. Hopefully, he's like on his last legs here. Jesus Christ. Oh no. Oh no. The only reason I wasn't able to finish was because the uh, that trumpeting blister went down before I could pop it. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, party man. The day the party died. <laughs> oh. Oh man, that was such a good double shot, just right in a row. Bug dead, berry gone. This time we want weird like reaching bug. Arms splayed out to the sides. Feeling wiggling. All right, there's that Goro bean hiding away in his plant disease. Or is that on his flesh and the plant is obscuring it? I'm not entirely sure, but I'll take it anyway. Oh, he's back to it. Oh, wow, I feel great, Doc. Just in time for festive season. More party for this young man. Thanks, Doc. You're welcome. Have a good day, eggplant man. Eggplant man, best character. Don't tell that to Stein, though. We're done here, Doctor. Let's head to those coal mines and continue our search for the last recipe ingredient. And off we go. Act three, the coal miners. Oh. Huh. It's kind of like a rat man. Mole man? Hiya, doctor. I am the head miner of these tunnels. We have spent years digging in these mountains, but lately more and more of my people have succumbed to strange diseases. What has brought you here, doctor? Diseases. And also that special heart thing that we need. It's a magma heart, whatever. I hope there's a canary person in, or two in these mines. I don't know about that one, because that means they're kind of just enrolled in their job to die. We are looking for a magma heart to conduct a medical experiment. Oh, a magma heart, you say? Yes, yes, I have seen it, hidden deep inside the heart of the mountain. I can try my best to get it, but my people need urgent medical help. If you heal all of them, I shall give you the heart. All right, I can do that. I am a doctor, and my favorite thing is healing people. They're just salt boiler. While mining my own... While mining my own business, rather than minding... Mining his own business, eh? Uh. I fell into the diamond pit, and now he's got a bunch of diamonds stuck in his flesh. <laughs> Please rid me of these splinters. I wonder if I can. Oh man, I was hoping I was gonna be able to keep these splinters because it sounded then like they were diamond splinters, but no, they're probably not even diamonds if they're breaking this easily. <laughs> 
Nope, not able to sell them. Be on your way, pug man. Whoa. Pig man now. I'm afraid of depth, doctor. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, more splinters. Pull those right out. And then give... Oh, I missed. Let me try that again. There we go. And what? What? A kiss for each. Claustrophobic miner. And apparently I'm feeding him this right here. There you go, sir. I guess that gemstone is gonna heal you up. Oh. Hope you stay healthy. Goodbye. I feel like I should also make a set of pamphlets to advertise or inform people that they shouldn't be drinking any potions. Hello, Wonder Doctor. Greetings to you also. Let's take a look. Oh, I see. You've got a little bit of a rot disease, and it appears that your eye has also been faked this entire time. I'm gonna have to use a scratcher to get rid of these rocks. Wonder what this would feel like. What, what, like, what's happening there? I'm bringing out this. I don't know, sander, and I'm just sanding off rocks off their flesh. Like extreme exfoliation, maybe. They're, they've got little patches that are just so dry, it's like little stones. Gotta exfoliate there. <laughs> Calm down, little friend. No need to be nervous. Oh, I, I don't know about that one. I'm sorry, doctor. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> uh. Some people just don't have the guts to be cured. That guy jumped off my train and just landed on the ground, dead. Hmm. Well, oh. Chet, we've got an artist. I trust you, doctor. Apparently, I'm going to give him a death. What? Oh my god, apparently we're going to pose his skeleton? We need him to do, uh, like, some jazz hands, almost? One, one arm up here, the other arm down here, and then a nice little head tilt. And we'll take a look at a skeleton like this. Uh-oh. Two points of injection. One, and, eh, eh, miss. And, eh, uh, come on. Uh-oh. There we go. Got it. And then rip out the splinters and you're all good. Thanks for the undrinking. You're welcome. Now we're gonna have to just detach these chains. And there we go. Amazing. A cure for some diseases, chat. You just gotta hold a certain pose for a little while, say. Oh my god. I'm not sure if this is a... I am the crystal man. I'm not sure if this is just a skeleton that has covered themselves in a bunch of gemstones being like, I'm made of crystal, I swear. Or if it is a crystal man and we're just seeing little bits of his skeleton through it. Uh... And hello there, the professor, and welcome to the stream. Uh... I guess we'll go ahead and shave off his extra little crystalline growth. Wait. I'm shaving. Am I shaving off everything? What's going on here? Uh, crystal man, I'm not sure if you should have all of this crystal on your flesh. I think I'm just shaving off all of it. It's all gotta go. We're taking you back down to bare bones. And that arm, and then we get hand, and then we get other hand, and then upper arm, boom. 
Oh, back to the coal mines, Doctor. And hello there, Pyro Pal, and welcome to stream. Imagine going to the doctor and they peel your skin off. Imagine putting on fake skin because you just feel so bad about your skeletal frame. Skelly, I hope you never do this, that you feel the need to hide your bones and pretend you have normal flesh. Stealing some skin from some other living being and slapping it on yourself. Dying, you say. I... I'm Leather Man, I swear. Alright, next patient. Oh! We've also filled up our furnace here, so that means I get a nice little piece of information. Spores soft to the touch. Uh... I don't really want to describe any sort of medical <laughs> problem piece as being, oh yeah, this blister, very soft. Mm. Have you seen me snap? I haven't, but I don't think I have time. I need to hurry up and cure you before you die. All right, splinters out. This bug has been here so long, it's formed like an indentation in this poor pig person's flesh. There we go. Gone. Oh, it was just the entire geode was there. Okay, I see. The bug... This made it look like it was a little dugout walking trail by the bug. Hell. Well, I guess I'll just... Oh, what? I can't keep this! Or can I? What if I click this? I play. Oh. I throw the geode in the furnace. Free geode? It was, but I can't keep it. Oh, this guy's got some meat. You think he'll share? Apparently, he's got musical head forks. Was that it? I just had... Oh. Okay, are these swords their their forks? I like that he's got unhappy, kind of happy, angry, cool, giggling, and then honestly this one looks more like arms with a little smile, little eyes. I don't know what they were exactly, especially since I didn't actually remove them. I just kind of played a little tone with them. And here's another quack. This time though. Stein didn't run away at all. Wonder Doctor, you have ignored all of our previous warnings. <laughs> you are sheltering an escaped Stein unit that conducted espionage against Quack Co. Therefore, you are under immediate arrest. Both of you, follow me. <laughs> Get lost, you damn Quack! You will not be... We will not be intimidated by your babbling! Stein leaps off and attacks the quack. Look at him. Oh my god, I never knew Stein was so brave, so powerful. You have made a big mistake, Wonder Doctor. This Stein unit cannot be trusted. He rushes away. Strange, you were scared off faster than I expected. Hmm. A coal... coal mechanic? Okay, we use dynamite to harvest stones from the deep. Enoughs. I can't seem to find the last stick of it, though. I look at his forehead. I look at the wick. Uh-oh. Doctor, quick! The dynamite on his head is about to ignite itself! 
Imagine having explosives and you're always at risk of the explosives just lighting themselves on fire. Don't let it blow up! Hurry! Oh my god. Oh my god. We have to do some medical- oh my god. We're not even going to put out the flame. We have to cure him of these geode rocks. Perhaps they're linked to the fire? Oh my god. I owe you my life! Uh, uh, he almost killed me too, I think, because if this blew up, I can't imagine it's going to be a contained explosion that would only take him out, right? Uh, strikes match. Need a light? No! Please! Hello, Cal. Welcome to the stream. Throw that away. I look at the dynamite in my hand. I look at this furnace that sets things on fire, burning them. Well, this seems like where it should go. <laughs> okay, that explosion was kind of pathetic. Well, I guess then otherwise my furnace is just very reliable resistant. That was a close call. Untreated Massa Desploto is absolutely deadly. Stein, fucking every disease that we've been seeing has been deadly. If I don't cure people fast enough, they just fucking die. Next dying patient, please. Please make the pain go away. Uh-oh, an ingrown crystal. Very painful. You'll have to time your slices very carefully. Yeah, because I don't want to hit the red thorns. Eh. There we go. Taken care of. What's next? Eh. These beetles. Take them out first. Dead. And then we will remove the rock forms on their flesh. Like so. And voila! All healthy! I pat them on the head! Have a good day at work, ma'am. That was the Latin term for bomb head? That's hilarious. Bevan boy? What does a Bevan boy do? Hello, doctor. Sorry for running away. <laughs> She'll be very brave. Oh no, it's the nervous rat. He probably started feeling a whole lot worse and said, oh, I have to do something or else I will die. So we're back to heal him. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. And then he runs away. Some patients are more difficult to cure than others, but they all deserve equal care, nonetheless. He'll be back. He already came back one time. Ooh, newspaper time, chat. I hope you're ready to read the articles. I hope for the comic section this time. New doctor heals crystal man. <gasps> this is the headline, too. Chat. That was us. We did it. We were the new doctor that healed the crystal man. And hello there, Bird Bob, and welcome to the stream. Arachno cough? Miner ate 15 spiders in his sleep. Rumbling intensifies. Did they dig too deep? I don't know. I think they need to dig deeper. That way I can get that magma heart. I couldn't believe it, says the cured crystal man. I thought I was a crystal man when in actuality I was just a skeleton the entire time. Yep. I mean, can understand the confusion, sir. All right. Quackco Borco Drot. It's so smooth. 
Are you trying to advertise this like a potion still? Or have you just branched off into making alcohol as well? I, uh, hmm. Looks like we are gaining notoriety. I ring the bell. Uh-oh. <laughs> this guy's been infected with the crystal arm. Oh, my body is weak. Oh my god, this guy's got two ghosts infected. Infected him, haunted him too. Jesus. Alright, and then we chop off. Ooh, these are those mushrooms that are supposed to be soft to the touch. Huh? Wait. We got, ah! Get out of here, blood leech. Ah! That made me hit one of the thorns. God damn it, stupid ghosts. Get out of here. Get out of here. And look at his candle. I like fucking barely finished healing him. Oh my god. Quackco. Quacko. Echo. What if I was part of Quack the entire time? I am a Quack. Stein just hasn't realized because I'm not wearing my uniform. And hello there, Dagnardio, and welcome to the stream. Oh, yep, see, there we go. Edible gems. Just like, we haven't used a lot of edible gems, though. We only had one person where we had to do that. Cure? What does a hewer do? You fall asleep on the honey bucket one time! And then you've just ruined everything. Okay. Oh, I guess those mushrooms just powdered away. Is this all for this guy? Because I gotta say, if this is it for him... Wow! This guy was a very easy cure. Have a good day. Would edible gems taste like rock candy? If the edible gems are made out of sugar, I would say yes. But otherwise, I don't think so. Like allowing people, I stole my potions. Honestly, dude, that's probably good things. You do not want to be drinking those potions. Let's take a look. Oh my god. Just walks in here and apparently he's got the explosion disease. I huck the explosions into the furnace. And what? What? What is this? It's the glowing people again? Uh, what? I, I pop the glowing people. Is that bring? These little guys are called waxlings. Catching them restores some of the patient's health. Ooh. That's useful then. Here are this guy's complaining about them when they're actually a good thing. Ah. So now we want to keep our eye out for any of those little ghostlings. The waxlings. Then it's kind of like healing up our patience as we work. And hello there, Luna, and welcome to the stream. Hardness scale be damned, I want to chew on minerals. Skellington says, just shoving all sorts of different minerals into his mouth, chomping down hill. Oh no, something must have triggered the mountain core. Lava seems to be rising from below. This can't be good, but we still have more patience to cure. Well, let's call him in so we can get him. Oil man, all right. Don't breathe in the after dance. Uh, I, I'll, I guess I'll try not to. All right. Take out his infected arm. Avoiding the weird thorn bug. Boom. And then 
I put a band-aid on his hand. His poor injured hand. Maybe. Come on. There we go. I, I also kiss it better. Mwah. Why do gems have to look so tasty? It's true. They do look very delicious. Dagnardio, even there, seeing a diamond and attempting to eat it, destroying his teeth. Consequences of attempting to eat minerals. Stupid me. Forgot to bring my Halushki's lunch today. Ugh, running on potions right now. So hungry. I wonder if we've got any food. Oh my god. That we could provide to this guy. Every time it's going to be like I rip off the per patient's shirt, their clothing, and they have an explosive stuck on them. It's just gonna be like, oh my god, what the hell? Just like that. I need to replace my teeth with diamonds? See, now there's an idea. If you just replaced all your teeth with diamonds, you'd be able to eat whatever sort of mineral you'd like. Because your teeth would be so powerful. Okay, this time, let's make sure we get all of these blisters so we can pop before the explosive goes. There we are. There you go. And I do believe that's it, and you can be on your way. Next patient, please. Oh, I think I'm having the grumbles, doctor, sir. Oh. Oh, no. It's the guy that ate 15 spiders. Now I have to kill them all. I don't know, do I have to kill the spiders after they fall out? They don't seem like they should be doing any harm afterwards. Got some more of those diamond snacks? Let me check. It does appear that I've got some. So let me just grab one out. There you are. And oh, Dagnardio giving out a gifted sub. Which ended up on Azungi. That's very nice of you, Dagnardio. Thank you. It's appreciated. You'll never need to worry about the dentist again with diamond teeth. No, you have to worry about a jeweler instead. Spider away. And then we'll bring on our next patient. What? That's what happens when you sleep in a cavern filled with spiders. Yeah. Careful where you sleep, chat. Do not sleep next to a spider's nest. Otherwise, the spiders cannot help themselves, but crawl into your mouth where you'll accidentally eat them. Oh, Lucas. Back again. Good afternoon, dearest Wonder Doctor. I'm really sick this time, not even joking. Got a real bad case of the berry pimples, you know. Oh, it's the cardboard guy again. I like his candles going down, though. My stomach is burning up. Oh, how it hurts. Chet, what do you think happens if I just stand here waiting while his candle burns down and it gets all the way to the end? Does he die? Because he's supposed to be healthy. I, I watch his candle burn down. Maybe he's actually sick this time, though. Alternative. I did theorize, what if I'm stealing my patient's health? So what if it's true? That didn't quite work as expected. Hmm. Imagine being completely healthy. You go to the doctor because you're concerned about being sick. And then you just die there. <laughs> oh, my stomach is burning up. Oh, how it hurts. Please, doctor. You have to help me. 
All right. Oh. It seems like he's got some very real, not fake, berry blisters. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Look at me pop them. Boy, howdy. Sir, you were right. This time, you were definitely hurt. He just pretended to die last time. He did a good eye. I've never seen this condition. It's not listed in any of the medical almanacs. Thank you for your time, doctor. Already, I can feel a new disease coming over me, he says, pulling out some more cardboard and colored pencils. Well, I hope you stay healthy, sir. <laughs> Everything hurts. Well, let me get rid of these bugs, starting off. And then we're going to need you to do a celebration pose here. One arm up. And one arm slightly to the side. And head tilting. Oh my god. We'll start by removing the splinters, and then we'll focus on Big Saw. That's what this looks like to me anyway, just a big crystal geode rock saw. Ah! Hey, don't get too close to the middle where that weird bug guy was hanging out. Off to the bell pits with me! Alright, have a good day. Yeah, holding his arms up like that does kind of look like that hyper's emote, huh? Hmm. Oh, oh, it's the Bevan boy again. Oh, the doctor. I, I think I gathered, finally gathered enough courage this time. Oh, I have an idea. Tie down the patient. Oh, you know, Stein, I grab some rope. That's not a bad idea. I look at the patient. I hold their arms out to the side, chaining them. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I remove their clothing to give them a proper examination. And now, he cannot run away, and I can properly cure him of his disease. There you go. And now we'll just go ahead and give you a nice eyeball crystal. Hang on. Flat at bottom with points. That one. There you go. Oh, wow, that wasn't even ha 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 half as bad as I th thought it would be. I, uh, I feel calmer now. Oh. Uh, thank you for your patience, Wonder Doctor. No. Thank you for coming back again. It was very brave of you. I pat him on the head. I grab from my secret stash a nice lollipop. I pop it in his mouth. I pat him on the head again. And I send him on his way. See, yeah, that wasn't so bad. May I have awakened something in him? I hope it wasn't feelings of romance, because I'm already having problems with that with other patient people. I think that's why a healthy guy keeps coming blast. But I've got this doctoring job, and I'm very committed to it. No, thank you for the patience. Another amazing joke by Chet. How do you do it? Chet, you hear that again? Everyone in chat loved it. They always love it. This is why chat comes to streams, is so they can give the real comedy jokes. I'm just here for decoration general commentary, whereas the rest of chat, they're in their seats waiting for the real jokes to come out. Yesterday, I broke my banjo while digging in the deep ends. Oh, uh-oh. Got more spiders. Clear out their geode sickness and then kill them. 
that it? Oh, that was it. That was easy. Well, have a good day, sir. Oh, look, he even sent it back to me. Wow. Next patient, please. Oh, it's another plug with forks. Last my dad land the shafts. A shame. Oh, and now we're gonna do a pose. With one arm? Where's the other arm? Okay. Oh, I see. It's because we're only examining a singular arm. So we didn't need to do anything with arm number two. Alright, carefully shave around. And there we go. And then we collect some waxlings for some health gain. There we go. I may be cured, but I still dread this place. Yeah, maybe you should start looking for a different job if you don't like it then. Oh, I was thinking amputation cut the other arm off. Uh, hmm. Hmm. That would have been one way to keep and take care of any future arm problems. The forks are still on his head. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. We play some musical forks and then they just stay in their skull. I don't know why. You'd think they'd want them out, but uh, I don't know. Took a whole lot of courage to take this from the mountain's core. But a promise is a promise. And you've cured all of my miners. Thank you for that, Wonder Doctor. Here we go. One fresh magma heart. <gasps> there it is. I'll be on my way, Doctor. Back to the mines with me. I got it. Finally, we have all the ingredients. Let's brew this mysterious potion and see what it does. Okay. I throw the magma heart in the ingredients chamber. I click the button. All right, all right, we're brewing, we're brewing. Oh. Huh? Uh-oh, are the quacks gonna come here? Oh my God, this guy's got a giant beak. Holy shit, he must be really high ranking. <gasps> Stein! His eye! He's stealing our potion brew, too! Oh my god! Stein! Are you okay? Oh, oh. That was him! That was the boss of Quack Co himself! Whatever this potion does, if they want to prevent us from having it, we have to give it back! But first, it looks like we have another problem. The lava is rising higher and higher. At this rate, you will swallow us within a minute. We need to get out of here fast. All right, we're turning up the speed on our train car then. Here we go. Don't try to stop it or anything. No, we just kind of watched Stein get injured and watched as he took away our potiony piece and walk away. We just we didn't really do anything here. Act four, the anchor worms. Looks like we're underwater now, chat. And I see chat over there making more puns. Chat, I love you. Slime, water, you talking about? <laughs> Boss of the anchor worms, huh? You look like someone who has lost, my friend. I am taking care of things around this part of the sea. Lately, my crew members haven't been feeling too well. Most of them have been struck by weird diseases and can't even do the most basic of robberies, blackmails, and thuggery anymore. You appear to be a true tinker, so please, Heal my crew members. Well, we can do that, of course. But we also need to get out of this ocean, urgently. 
So can you help us with that? Hmm. I run this place. I can get you anywhere. Okay, we'll give you a crew and get back to you. <laughs> but he has some hogfish rustlers too. Call back to Freddy Fish. I don't think these are the kind of waters Freddy Fish would be swimming around in though. I got the scotch fiddle. Okay. Looks like this wound has to be sewn shut. Huh? All right. Now we know how to do some stitching, chat. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, I owe you my life. You know, I wonder if the Wonder Doctor really is a safe doctor to be going to. There's probably not a lot of other good people, of course, but the fact that even completely healthy, you can die here, as we observed with Lucas before, the paper bag maker. You don't have to be that sick to die in my hands. Hello, doctor. Uh, hi. Why do you have this weird bug? This, this thorn bug is just throwing me off too much because it, it, we've seen similar on them. Haven't had a thorn bug flying around in the air before though. I also like it just completely freezes in place wherever it was flying. And now I like these little clam guys. We're gonna kill them. I hate death. Bleh. We were killing this man. Bleh. We like to bring death to our parasitic hosts. Bleh. Let's also take a look, because I haven't looked at my book here in a bit. Only use the chains when necessary. The spiders are very fast with many eyes. Perhaps a worm host? Ah, alright, in the fourth chapter here, up at the top. Not quite sure what's going on with this guy, I guess. We have a line with a question mark to this picture. I also see what looks like a bag of money right here. Hmm. Alright, next patient. Oh my god. Our... You, Walt? Tentacle? Are we meeting some relative of Cthulhu? Greetings, Doctor. I'm an ocean detective and could use some help from an outsider such as yourself. Fucking how many detective games are around Lovecraftian ideas and stories? Clearly Cthulhu here. Cthulhu relative. Attach this swarm agent to the next purse collector you meet. There's a gang snatching up all the ocean's purses. I need to confirm a suspicion about the head of the operation. Igor, the sorry looking worm you're supposed to place into the next purse collector you meet. He's so sad, and look, he's got a little backpack, too. I love Igor. Hello. I do you, too. <laughs> Put you over there. Now you just need to wait until we find someone to attach you to. I might need to keep an eye on their jobs, then, because then we'll need purse collector. Got caught stealing some oysters. Ah, they look so delicious. Well, first we're gonna keep your arms down and for our next pose here. One and two. And let's give you a look over. Nope, oh, no hands. Don't worry. We got some good pirating type hands too. Not cauliflower like over in the green realm. 
butt hooks. There we go. Nice lace stitched on. And let's check your chest. All right, we got clams again. Get rid of those thorns. Ditch them, and you're all good. Have a good day. Yeah, I like the cases where I pull out my magnifying glass to give people a closer look. I'm like, oh, huh, your hands were fake this entire time, eh? Shady peddler. Boss is making me come here. Don't care much for doctors, though. No offense, but to be honest, why would I even come here? It's not like I'm sick or anything. On top of that, you don't prescribe potions, so what's the point? Look, I'll just stand here for a few minutes and then be on my way. Pure formality. I place the worm on him. What the fuck? Hey, this is private. I'm not entirely sure then. The way he came in and was like, I'm healthy and shit. I was like, okay, does this mean I'm actually supposed to put the worm on this guy? I hope I don't meet the actual guy we're supposed to put that worm on, because, uh... I don't have Igor anymore now. And hello there, slave to the nuggets. What did you walk into? Doctor stream! I'm a doctor, and that guy apparently had a bunch of tentacle blisters. Resurrection man? What does that mean? Hello, Mr. Tinker. Hello to you, too. Let's give you a look over. Lots of mushrooms. Missing. There we go. Taken care of. Gonna prescribe you a little jellyfish with a little magnet hand. This one. And then we'll swat. Oh, nope. Slap cure. Got it. My favorite cure. This is what happens when you do drugs, kids? I don't think so. I think it... Or maybe it is. See, there's potions that some quacks make. Those seem like drugs of a kind that is not good for you. And a lot of patients wander in here going, Oh boy, howdy, those potions, eh? So maybe... Maybe it is the potions. And hello there, Endwell, and welcome to the stream. A gambler? <laughs> Doctor, I've lost my lucky eye. Can you help me find it? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Gonna play the cup and balls with his head? There's even music playing for it. Got some mighty good eyes on you, Tinker, sir. Oh my god. Need to see Dr. Kako, my brain no work. Well, you've come to the right place. Just get yourself in line. I indicate to the extremely long line of people. Oh yeah, see? Purse collector. No worm. Rip. Well, whatever kind of information or help I would have been providing that detective, not gonna help him out now. See you around, ma'am. Was that a medical issue? The worm or those weird growths? Sharper? Oh, I may have eaten some of that blasted rotten seaweed last night. The patient is poisoned! The eye guy? I guess so. He didn't know which eye was his and he needed to identify the correct eye. 
This candle will burn down much faster. Better hurry or we'll lose him. Uh oh. Maybe I should begin with, I don't know, giving him some kind of anti poison medication drug rather than taking care of any physical ailments he has first or like elder flesh ailments unless removing all of them cured him of poison too sure why not okay pop some blisters cure poison good job doctor a poisoned patient really brings the pressure It also fills me up on my furnace again. That is a new piece of clo- uh -oh. oh my god, the bird has a little scuba helmet on. Adorable. Alright, here we go with the newspaper. Volcano erupts, mines destroyed, oysters delicious. Or deadly. Probably the second one, seeing as it seems to always have these blisters inside of them and are killing the patients. So I'm gonna opt for deadly. Could we have done anything to prevent it? A new doctor is missing. Killed in mines? Just pretend that yes, definitely. I will solve every unsolved crime, says new ocean detective. Uh-oh. And then we've got turtle oil. Cures blindness and snake skin. Sure, Quack. I'm sure that turtle oil definitely does those things. Not at all like snake oil. Shame about those coal mines. Ugh, I liked the place. Me too. Oh, I like this guy's just a rascal up here. The crickums are everywhere, Doc. The crickums? Uh. Oh, I see. There we go. And then just shave the rock off of this oyster's tongue. Throw him away. Oh, more music. All right, there we go. Better get some air and exercise. I don't know about the air for you, since we're underwater. I imagine you probably don't want to go to the surface, but I don't know how you work. There are animals that hold their breath while they're underwater, so... Looks like you got the wrong guy. I know. Tough luck, but luckily I have another case for you. All right, let's see if I can be successful this time. Please retrieve this worm. He's got a little top hat. We're going to save top hat worm. All right, bring in the next patient, please. Keep your eyes out, chat, for top hat worm. How dost my buff? I don't know. You tell me. Ow, stupid flying thorn guy. Ugh, killed. What the? Well, this guy's gonna die. Yep, there he goes. I'm gonna name him Reggie. The little top hat worm. That sounds like a pretty good name. Hang on, what? Igor, the sorry-looking worm you're supposed to place into the next purse collector you meet. Look, we got Igor back! So now all we have to do is locate Top Hat Worm and put Worm Igor into the Top Hat... Or, sorry, into a new purse collector. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Just hang out comfortably there. You know, I'm not sure why these guys, though, have these splinters, because I don't think 
there's any mine areas for them to be falling into. There, that time I did not get hit by that stupid thorn. Fuck him. Now I'll remove these splinters again. You're welcome. And now be on your way. I have a worm to find and a worm to plant. Next. Uh. What? I'll be damned. Stein 33. Remember me? Of course I remember you, Michael. Michael? What are you doing in these depths? After failing to reach my monthly potion sales quota for the third time, I was transferred to this godforsaken place. Why do they expect... Who do they expect me to sell potions to down here? The fish? I mean, that's kind of who we've who we've been treating down here. I don't see why you can't sell to them, too. There hasn't been a doctor in years, and I'm surrounded by penniless scoundrels. Well, I'll be on my way. Hope life treats you better than me, old pal. I liked this quack. He opened the escape hatch for me. I have to admit, I feel a bit sorry for him. Honestly, yeah. Talking to that quack, he's been the nicest one so far. That was the best quack. Alright, this, I have no idea what that says. I guess, though, it's the front of a boat here. And that question mark, then, appears to be a giant whale. <laughs> Michael was always quite the eccentric, even among quacks. Hmm. Hmm. Nipper? My body is weak. Well, that's fine. Oh my god. He's gonna start dozing off while I'm trying to give him treatment. Ah. Oh god dang it. Now he might just perish because I hit... The thorns too many times. Ah, see? This is why it's important, chat. When you go to the doctor and they tell you to hold still, you need to hold still. Because he's dead now. Stop moving! Exactly! They're just... You move around too much while delicate <laughs> surgeries are attempting to be performed, you're gonna die. Or at least be delved into great medical stress. I think I'm just gonna have to wait when he starts wobbling around too much. Like when he starts doing this, just need to be patient. And then I continue my delicate operation. So maybe the real fault was mine all along. <laughs> ah. Don't attempt to perform. Ah, god damn it, he's dead. Not gonna have enough time now to complete the rest. If only I could just. I bet I could hurry him along to death if I just, you know, did a little bit more fuck up here. Bye bye. When I was getting a filling for my cavity, I was doing sit-ups the whole time. A strong core is a strong soul. Imagine getting a root canal while doing some sit-ups. And hello there, Dunder, and welcome to the stream. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, god dang it. I opened my blade right on that thorn. At least it's removed now. Wait for him to wobble around, and then continue. Just because he keeps dozing off is making this the most difficult patient yet. Come on. Almost there. Please let these be the last things. It would also help if some waxlings spawned, but there we go. Boom. Finished and healthy. 
I had a wacky nightmare that a bunch of tiny centipedes burrowed into me? Well done, Dirk. If that was the case, now would be a perfect time to join the stream. Because I'm a doctor and that's sort of some of the medical fixings I've been having to do. You should have told me this before my dentist fucked my root canal. And well, again, this is why you don't actually do sit-ups during dental operations. And here's Lucas again. I put the worm in him. Wonder Doctor, this time it's really bad. I can feel my life fading before my eyes. Uh-huh. Oh, oh no, Chet. He's got the dynamite illness and a bunch of berry blisters. Gotta remove those blisters first. That way, whoop, then the dynamite hops off. Oh no, the flies are even back. Oh dear, it's a good thing you came to me, sir. I pat him on the head with the dynamite and then I throw it into the furnace. Don't worry, Lucas. I got you covered. Influenza and pox. Oh, it's everywhere. Should you really be throwing the dynamite into a furnace? Yeah, it's fine. My furnace is pretty durable. It can handle it. I hate when this happens to me. Truly. Getting infected with dangerous cardboard diseases. The worst that can possibly happen. Rum Dubber. I guess they name alcohols, specifically rums. Something's clouding my vision, Doctor. Well, let's take a look. What the fuck? I guess that's what's clouding your vision, then. And it's gonna have me starting with stitching, huh? Very well. Ow. Fucking haunted ghost guys. God damn it. And these things on their little waggly stilts. Get over here. Ugh. Fucking ghosts, dude. I dub the five fall rum. Wow. Imagine going out to your liquor store and you opt to buy the alcohol called fee five fo rum you bring it back to drink at home you say hey guys check out the alcohol i got and then everybody makes fun of you ding boing <gasps> hang on do you see that on his nose chat oh my god it's the top hat worm <laughs> Rescued. Grigor, the worm agent you retrieved from Rats of Vets. A ne'er do well ding boy and sharper. He's so happy. He's also got the tiniest little cigarette, too. I love Grigor. Other than the fact he smokes, he's also got little arms. Does Igor have little arms? He does. All right, let's get to healing this guy. Ooh. Gotta make sure I avoid that flying. Now we have to avoid three. We've got flying thorns. We've got little thorn bugs on each of these weird rock growth pieces. Have to be careful, so I'm swapping back and forth as I slowly shave away. Ah, yes. The disease. Perfect. And then I take out the remainder. Guess I'll have to find new ways to impress the wenches. He's trying to make his shoulders broader. To make the ladies like him. That's not how it works, sir. Be on your way. It is an honor to meet you. Ah, Anguilla infestus, known as eel sickness, has befallen the patient's eye socket. 
try lowering it out of its caves, but beware, eels bite anything that moves. Imagine an eel moving into your eye. Wenches like when you take them on dates to see benches. Uh, a rhyme, wow. Oh my God. Oh, aha! Avoided. Stupid eel. I stick a band-aid on their eye. I kiss it. Moi. Throw in the furnace, too. Come on. I, I tickle it. There we go. Huh. You're a deft fellow, sir. And you are very good yourself. Be on your way. We also haven't had any new purse collectors come either. And uh oh, poisoned patient. All right, take out the blisters. Focus, focus. Next piece. Oh, we got a huge rock issue here. Work quickly. Work quickly. We stitch up this side. Ah, there we go. Got you covered. Saved and didn't even kill this one at all. And horse is gonna now lurk for D and D. All right. Thanks for watching, Horace. Hope you have a good D and D session. Next patient, please. Be on your way. Bring in next. Ding! Blasted fellow. Did he walk in here as a pile of ashes? Hello? Hello? Why is everyone ignoring me? What is going on? Where is the patient? Hmm. Oh. Oh, I guess he isn't just down as a pile of ashes, but basically doesn't exist. Here's his other arm. There's his head. There's his body. Oh, finally I am being recognized for who I am. This is what happens when you explode, dude. And that's all I had to do was identify him. <laughs> huh. scrap. All right, we've got hermit crabs. Oh, look! Look at that! He's got a little cane! Uh -huh. Spiky tongue. I don't like the way the clam looks in this drawing. They look a lot less friendly. Slide that away. A bluffer? That's a liar! I've got the sunburn, Dr. Sir. I think you have worse than a sunburn. Thought it was gonna have me go straight to the berry blisters, but apparently not. All right, that's all stitched up. Ooh, good thing there's that waxling. That should bring on some more health. Oh shit. Good thing when I was trying to pop that one blister, I missed. Grab that waxling. Eh. One more, come on, there we are. All right, perfect. Weird. That clam rendition was extremely sinister indeed. I gazed upon it and said, oh, now I know why they don't like clams very much, huh? Everything hurts. Let's take a look. Ah. I was hoping I could get that all done before he caught me, but apparently not. And now I inject with the rainbow. Now we pose. We do a hiding pose because he's very shy. And we take a look at the arms, which are covered in the whack-a-mole. Blisters. There we go. Topping fellow best cure I've ever had. No, that means he's never had a slapping cure. Once you've had the slapping cure, you know that is the best cure you'll ever have. 
got the scotch fiddle, whatever that means. All right, then we are beginning with rock. This time I'm waggling around my drill to try and remove it a little bit faster. There we go. Good, we've got wax. Little wax slings around so we can heal as we continue to work. Which is also a little bit difficult when I've got the stupid ghost that's coming in to blind everything. He's also very angry. I liked the one ghost that was happy when it was thrown around the blood leeches. At least he was mean with a smile. Alright, now get out of here, stupid. Ugh. Throw away all this trash. Stupid tiny living creatures. Are those parasite worms with top hats? One of them is. We've got Grigor here. He's very happy. He has a little top hat. Oh. And then we have Igor, who has more like a driving cap, I think they're called. Something like that. Newsboy cap, maybe. Something. But hello there, Lunswick, and welcome to the stream. Oh, look, the inspector's back. Good job. Hand over the agent so he can report back to me. Here you go. I like that I can grab Igor and stick him on the detective himself. I guess now I don't need that little ticket anymore, then. Congratulations, Junior. <gasps> junior detective. Wonder Doctor. Oh, Chet. We're a junior detective now. Take this badge. You have proven your worth. Oh. Look at that. I've got a junior detective badge. Or junior inspector badge now. Look at the happy little jellyfish he drew. Oh, recognition. Yeah. Huh. And we've also got lives in eye sockets. Oh, yes. That eel guy. Got a locksmith here. Everything hurts. Well, don't worry. I can make it better. Eh, eh, eh. As long as that stupid thorn guy stays away. Trying to proceed carefully. Avoid him. And then we're going to provide him with a nice light snack. We've got a stubby leg with a slash. That's you. And then get rid of the ash. And a first rate surgeon, much obliged. You're welcome. Next patient, thank you. Igor can be your partner, you're right. If we never come across any, oh my god, any of the purse collectors. Boom. My men are as good as now, thieving and plundering like there's no tomorrow. All oh, my anchor worms, finally back to normal. Our part of the deal is done. I am a man of my word. My men are preparing the crane as we speak. May the ocean winds be with you, doctor. I guess we're keeping Igor forever, then. As soon as we... We're back on land, we should search for the quacks and try to get our golden potion back. That sounds like a good idea. Fish wear bras in this? Only if they need to. Oh, you're right, Igor can help diagnose. <gasps> Wait! Igor! He left! Oh. 
So this is it, Beak Town, home of the Quacks and their headquarters. Uh-oh, see, now we're not Bird Town, but Beak Town. So now we're going to have to ab uh, abide by bird law. Back to being a solo detective. Never thought I'd be back so soon. Oh, that means we're going to heal some bird people, it seems. It was a fine day, Doctor, but I am scared. Always on the edge of my seat. Do you think these bird people are technically allowed to see normal doctors? God damn it, this guy's doomed. Yeah, oh my god, I'm the, I'm doing so poorly. What's with my timing? It, what the fuck? Pose is just tilted head, huh? Yep, there he goes. He's dead. I don't know why I made so, I guess it just... My... I, I, I'm a little bit fearful that these guys are gonna rat me out to the quacks. So it's making me very nervous, obviously. I am the one who's fearful and on the edge of my seat for being ratted on and punished. When all I want to do is heal people. Uh-oh. I got kind of a weird stitching now. Come on. It's almost dead. And then expel the ghost and boom. Okay. Woo. Woo. Don't have to do it again. It will be an even better day tomorrow. Yeah, now that you're healthy. I like that he just is awkwardly keeping his head in that position since we put him in that pose. Now he's back and he's on his way. That ghost really spooks the patients. It seems so. Hello, Mr. Churujin, sir. This bird's got such a large beak. Oh my goodness. Reminds me of the Captain Quack. Need a hugging three. So we want three hugs. And then bandage. Oh, oh no, don't drop it. Oh my. I like this one, because then the bandages are almost symmetrical. So then you can stay stylish after going to the doctor. Hugs are the cure? Man, I don't think I've been hugging almost any of my patients. A couple of them, I've patted their heads when I finished. Um, what is this? Ooh, that was a dentist. They're just some kind of ghostly jewel. Just slapping me down this ghost jewel. A ghostly jewel with some mysterious runes. Square. Square, triangle, square, circle. Hang on, but it starts at the circle because it's got the little arrow right here. So it starts at circle, down to square, over to triangle, up to square. Has this turned into a murder mystery? Perhaps? Hmm... My body is weak. A lot of people's bodies are pretty weak, sir. It's all right. Why? Why? Why does he have holes with chains for his diseases? What the fuck? Chat, these diseases just, they keep getting weirder. Here we started out. The guy came in with just a couple of normal pimples. Now we're getting pimples that are attached to chains coming out of holes in our patient's flesh. What is happening? 
Are these all side effects of the potions or what? Sent to attention, soldier. Tis but a scratch. If you say so, I say, stabbing his eyeballs with the rainbow injection. Is he even sick? Hmm. There we go. Many thanks, Wonder Doctor. You're welcome. So he was sick because he was almost losing his other eyeball, it seems. Next patient, please. He's got a very green beak. Cartographer. Do you think he could make us a nice little map over to our needed destination? So, oh, I guess the map wouldn't make any difference to us if we're stuck on the railroad track anyway. Yesterday I saw the will o wisp. It changed me. Does this mean this guy's haunted? This guy's gonna end up haunted. Oh my god. Oh, ghost chains? Oh. These bird people have way more issues with ghosts and different varieties of ghosts than anyone else so far. You are my last hope. Well, I hope I can take care of you then. I, I guess though I've been successful taking care of everyone so far. I wish I could slap away these ghosts first before I do any workings on them. Then I don't have to worry, wouldn't have to worry so much about fucking up. Put a band-aid there. There we go. And then swat! Away that fucking ghost. Snug. Do you think I could collect the ghosts and keep them all as friends? Because I would like that. Though, since I do get to slap them away, and I do like slapping things. What is- ow! Yeah. I wasn't even really paying attention, I didn't realize that that ghost was the blood leech ghost. Hmm. But what is this on his- oh, oh, it's the stitching spot, got it. Ah, no. Stop it. Get out of here. <laughs> Stupid leeches. The only thing I like about those leech ghosts is the fact that they're happy. Next patient, please. A jewel? Oh, a jeweler, huh? I've got this ghost jewel. Oh, please excuse my ghostly head. Do you have any shapes on you, ma'am? Any connections I could possibly make? Aha! Uh -huh. What was it? Circle, square? Let me just take another look. Circle, square. Circle, square. Triangle, square. Oh, I see. And then I put the crystal into that necklace. I steal the entirety of her necklace. And I rob her of her head. It is my head now. Be on your way, ma'am. That dentist didn't have a head, huh? Are they sharing the head, or did they have their head stolen by this jeweler? Or is the dentist stealing the jeweler's head? I'm not entirely- ah. I got that hit out of the furnace, and it just totally whacked the poor jeweler head. Weak to cuts. Ectoplasm. Oh, and here's a dentist. 
The apparition emanates a happy glow. She seems to be overjoyed. I attempt to put the head. There we go. Oh, thank you for returning my stolen head, kind doctor, sir. I shall be forever in your debt. And then she slaps down a little piece here. What is it? What did you give me? Oh. She gave me a little thank you card. Chat. Look at that. It's so nice. Curious how you steal a ghost's head in the first place? Well, come on, Skelly. You're a skeleton. It works similarly, right? Just take off the head, no problem. Oh, this dude? A fancy man. You can tell because of his double hats, his very intense collar cup. I assume that that ball of cloth is also supposed to be a piece of decoration, fanciness. Yeah. There are so many bugs this time, oh my god. Also trying to pop the berry blisters at the same time when they're available, excuse me bug. Alright, just a few more to go, pop those, and now we drill. Oh shit. Accidentally drilled down too low and uh, hit that thorn bug a bit. Hopefully this is it, because otherwise he's gonna die. Oh, too slow. Those shaving ones can be a little bit nitpicky sometimes with the amount I have to shave off. Let's bring them back in. Come on, fancy man. We're so close, I know. So long as that was the final step of his treatment, Otherwise, maybe not so close. Ah! Wow, he's got way less of those mosquito bugs infecting him than last time. Because he had like a million last time. They just kept coming. See, I don't think we would have made it last time anyway, seeing as we're inspecting him over again. There we go. Ah, your leave, doctor. Uh-huh. His beak, by the way, looks a heck of a lot. Hang on, it actually looks like two things. One, looks kind of like a banana. Two, looks kind of like a super long dog or wolf head. Because, observe. Eyeball. Ear. Ear. Little tuft of fur. Like, cheek fur. Nose. Imagine having a yellow wolf face for a nose. A real long smile. Hell. Oh. I... Hello there, school teacher. Everything is changing. I feel so very strange, doctor. Uh... Uh, imagine if you had a disease where just various parts of your body were shifting around all over the place. One second, your arms are ridiculously buff. The next second, they're little skinny, spindly things. The next, they grow in their mass. They're now chubby, filled with fat. And they just keep flickering around just all parts of you, constantly. Jesus. A happy guy with glasses, huh? Uh, also number one. And I slap him to fix all the shifting. Oh, I am beautiful! Yeah, I like this shade of green. It's pretty good. Now be on your way. Go. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. That was the worst case of switcheritis abominabilis I've ever seen. It did look pretty severe. Oh, look, it's a pianist guy. Ah, the waiting room is overcrowded, is it? I haven't been out there before. 
You know, I never considered it. Chat, do you think I have a receptionist or anything? The Quacks complained about me before about not doing proper paperwork. Did I hire somebody in the meantime? Have I always had someone working? Hmm. Nah. Hmm. It's just always been this singular train cart. It's always just been me alone. Till Stein came along, my very first doctor assistant. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. Ah. Bird. Let me see. Let me see. I want to see the newspaper. Doctor emerges from ocean. This man turned himself into cardboard. Chet? What if this entire time this paper bag man was actually diseased but everything that he was coming into contact with was turning into cardboard? So he did legitimately have that dynamite disease, those blister berries, they were real. They just all turned into cardboard. Underwater crime on the rise again, <laughs> seeing as we healed everybody down there in the ocean and the end is nigh, says Mad Bird. Warning, do not trust this individual, only trust certified potions by Quack Co. I like they gave him some very angry eyebrows. And he does not have a cracked eye either. That means doubly the case. If anybody reads this newspaper, they're going to see the angry eyebrows. Lack of a cracked eye. They're going to take a look over at Stein and say, mm, This can't be the same one. This Stein looks very friendly and his eye is cracked. So it cannot be the same Stein. What? Buzzbeak. My beak has been itching for seven straight weeks. None of the Empiric's potions or ointments have helped. <laughs> Find a cure, will you, doctor? Yes. I just have to sand it off. Everyone's really stupid and refuses to give proper treatments and says, eh, just drink a potion and it'll be fine, and that's not the way it works. <laughs> Your most obedient and humble servant, Doctor. You, you, go ahead. Cotton candy cone? Oh my god. That was kind of like a cotton candy beak, now wasn't it? At last, I found you. I am sick to the stomach. Well, let's take a look. Oh, there's your problem. You've got a weird growth and a bunch of thorn bugs on your stomach. Let me take care of that for you. Du, 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 du. Very carefully cutting in there. Oh my god. Did I just chop that off? I think that's a spider trying to escape. Come back here. Stop. Pop. Ugh. Squash it. Oh. That's it. And you're done. Choo shoo. Choo shoo. A chemist, do you think he works? with making potions, hmm? I usually don't like doctors, but my wife made me go. Well, your wife was in the right. Eh, stupid thorns. It's funny how at the very beginning we wanted to just take out the thorns ourselves, and now I can't even touch them. I guess the thorns got some better defenses. Okay, glasses number one. Can't even see them barely. There we go. Glasses number one. That's this. And then we spot away that goddamn ghost. You're a gentleman and a doctor, sir. Yes, yes. You're welcome. Did she cough out that spider earlier? Yeah, I mean, it is arachno cough. Like GLRP says. Hello? Oh my god, the bugs have got chain blisters. Stop, stop. Ah. 
there. Taken care of. Are you gonna have more chain bliss? No. I, I, whoops. That was <laughs> here I pulled out my scalpel and I just whipped it out right on top of that thorn bug foolishly. Timing very bad. Slowly. There we go. Be on your way indeed. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. Apparently, this is the healthiest currency, too. A very frowny glasses number one guy. Ready for a hug. Is that what that's supposed to be, then? Am I feeding them money for their cure? Doctor, I tried starving the evil worm princes by holding my breath. Is that supposed to be prices? The evil worm prices? Evil worm princes? What's that mean? There we go. Pose. Oh, just tilted head. Alright. Musical code unlocked. I like the idea that I'm just kind of whacking at his medals on his shirt in order to be able to use my magnifier? I'm not sure why I have... Uh, something like the nose makes sense, you know? You're, you're clearing their sinuses, you play a little tune on their nose, clears them out. I don't know if I understand clicking the metals in order to be able to use the magnifier on them. That's a little bit strange. And hello there, Tarank, and welcome to the stream. Yeah, the, the, the metal flicking is a lot like those forks. Um, this is the doomsayer. Oh, he's very whispery. Always watching, always peddling. Never do they stop. Brewing, mixing, selling ointments, harvesting their crop. <sighs> Don't tell anyone I was here. Reverse... Something? We've got, like, a dandelion. We've got Guy bowing with money. And this bird is looking at it. He's like, ooh, wow. I like this. We do equal money. And then some potions. I guess potions? Give Quack money. Get a little feathery thing. Or is it supposed to be, like, a disease image? You drink potions, you get diseases. And hang on just a minute, chat. I'll be honest, I really need to go to the bathroom. A bathroom break?
Alright. Hello. I'm back. Ghost? That's right. It wasn't me moving the cursor. It was a ghost. Hello, chat. I'm back from my bathroom break. Hope everyone grabbed whatever snacks they want or went to the bathroom themselves. Because it's time to continue doctoring. Oh, yes. I need to call in the next patient. Hi, ghost. Hello to you, too, GB. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, oh, uh-oh, a quack has come to seek my aid. Hello to you, too, Nuke Lurk 25. It is I, Kako, the sequel, the replacement Kako. End of the line. Doctor, I'm afraid I can't let you pass. Um, well, it is my obligation to cure all patients, however much I might dislike somebody. So, Quack, I'm healing you too. What else do you got wrong with you, huh? See, so you've got a couple of the condom luster pimples on your face. Take them out. Let's take a look at your chest. Oh, thank goodness for the waxlings. Go ahead and grab them to heal your health a bit. Take a look for the blusters. I suppose they just give you the waxlings whenever you do a patient that requires a bit more work. So you can bring up their health a little bit. Oh my god! I accidentally completely whacked those bugs with that spinning band-aid. Double plus red. That one. And that's it. My brothers and sisters will stop, you wonder doctor! By the way, thanks for the treatment. And then he shuffles away. I might be enemies to the quacks, but I won't refuse anyone medical treatment did he do that to himself to thwart you <laughs> imagine if that was the case he's like ah oh, i know how to stop the wonder doctor i'll just get so sick that he can't stop me then he ran in here with all sorts of medical problems see here's another quack <laughs> they're gonna try try to stop us by overwhelming us, see? Step back, doctor, or I will infect myself! His poor quacks, Marsomus Guidon. I cut off the apples. Then we'll have these plants to cut off. I get rid of that one because the spinning of it? Kind of annoying. Like, I can work around this thorn guy a little bit more easily than I could with the guy that was spinning. Spinning thorns. Oh, give him a good slap for treatment, and then we'll take out these berry blisters. I barely got that one before it had transformed. Alright, make sure I grab the waxlings. Identify the... Ah, oh, ah. These spots. Uh-oh. Shit. Take them out before they lay a bunch of goddamn eggs. Don't forget to grab the waxlings. There we go, there we go. Good, 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 good. Now we grab this beetly bug. Concerned arms up, wiggly legs. Concerned arms up, wiggly legs. Oh, that wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it had the fists at the end. Whoops. Hover! I did complete it successfully. So, take that, quack. Yeah, they're actual plague quacks. They make some evil potions. I wonder if they wear the masks, because if you take them off, their faces look super diseased or... Hang on. What if the quacks aren't even the normal bird species? So they wear those plague doctor masks, so they look like it. 
but in actuality, it could be something like Oogie Boogie with all the diseases trapped inside. It could be aliens trying to discreetly wipe out the planet via these incredibly addictive potions and diseases. And then, alien invasion. They're slowly working their way already. We're a frog, but those are just humans. Ring the bell. That means there's the next quack. You don't stand a chance against our potions, wonder doctor. Um, I disagree. Seeing as I have cured the three... Sorry, technically I've only cured two of you so far. But I've cured the two of you, and many others though, without the assistance of potions at all. Pose, arm up, elbow up. Arm. Up. Elbow. Up. And then we take a look at your chest. Oh no. Sur <laughs> Surprise dynamite! Oh, I think this quack actually strapped dynamite on on purpose. Ow. Um, waxlings? Hello? Thank God. Oh my God, come on. Oh, God, fuck. It was like half a second. I just got to the waxlings and I could have healed up that health. It was just a little bit too late. It would be interesting to go back in time with your basic ass knowledge, but you'd probably be the best doctor around. <laughs> That's probably pretty accurate. Huh. Seeing as whatever limited them. Or what if you did the opposite and you know so little about medical care, you go back to the past thinking you know a shit ton, and you just completely ruin everybody's doctor and medical knowledge? Or, you could be extremely knowledgeable, you go back in time, you start trying to tell everybody about it, and they're just like, what? You're crazy! And then they kick you out. And Blue is off to make some pasta. Have a good time making pasta, Blue. Thanks for stopping on by. Alright, here we go. Round two with this quack. The final uh, infected quack, I assume? I don't know if we'll have any more. Same pose. Ugh, I had to sneeze there, too. Awkward. Yep, 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 I've seen your surprise dynamite. All right, crystals taken care of, wax links unleashed and used to heal up a bit. Oh, I missed one that had just briefly popped up for a second there up at top. But I think I should have enough health now to last me to the end. Just carefully, there we go. Medicine, eyeball, lore. Oh, shit. Book. I think that's how I killed one of them last time, too, huh? I gave them the wrong medication. Or was it just I gave them the wrong medication and then just barely corrected afterwards? Rip, 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 rip. Some of those medications, the pill ones are easy. Because the shapes are very distinguishable from each other. But some of those other kinds of medication can be a little bit similar, so it's a little bit harder to identify them from each other. Come on, come on. Yep, I've got it. Surprise dynamite. Don't want that to explode, so I want to make sure I take whoop, take care of all this quickly. All right, waxlings. It's a little bit annoying when you get to the waxling part and then they die because it's like I was about to heal up your HP a bit, but I was just the teeniest, tiniest bit too slow. 
Let's see if we can speed run this a little bit, huh? Spiders taken out. Good. All right. Pulls. Arm up. Elbow up. Arm up. And elbow up. Shirt removed. Prize dynamite seen. Mushrooms being taken out. Wait for the thorns and remove the crystals. Boom. Like so. Waxlings summoned. Waxlings being collected. Getting the one that jumps from the window too for only a brief second. All right. And then we'll identify the innards. There we go. There's the problem. And we quickly remove all of the geode rock. So that we can knock this off of her head and go over to the medicine. Okay. Okay, make sure, real quick, quick look over it, because I can see there's this one. Shit. Try to kill as few patients as possible, Doctor. You're telling me, Stein. Yep, this one so far now. Hardest patient. Oh, it's gonna start us off now with the waxlings. Ugh, the game looked at me and is like, y you need a little help, pal? Here's some waxlings earlier on. This is the dark souls of medicine. Or it seems... No, it's not playing in a different order. Truly, truly. The dark souls of medicine. Eh. I hope I get the wax slings again still. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, spend a moment to get some of them. Ding, ding, ding. Chop some of that off. Get next wax sling. Chop some more of this off. Keep an eye out. I think that was it for the wax slings. All right, shave away the rock. All right, medicine time. Okay, we got big diamond, little squares, eye with line. Okay, thank goodness for a second. It was a little bit hard because of the size to exactly distinguish the shapes of the part around the triangle. We got it. Got it. How is this possible? Oh, I should be dead. Well, I look at several timelines. I look back at the quack. It kind of was the case. I now clean up my office area. Oh, that is also filling up my meter one time so I can unlock another little hint code piece, which is a quack staring at a fancy dressed quack lady. Hmm. All right, next patient. Another quack, oh my God. But this one's Michael. I'm sorry, Stein. They gave me no choice. I can't let you pass. Oh, except Al. He's injured now, too. Oh. No? Alright, I think this quack's gonna be doomed. Seeing as I accidentally got my finger bit. And I also had a couple of problems there trying to get that bane they put on his eye. Oh, that was a waxling spot. Thank God. Woo! I was getting very low there, too. So, good time to get it. Alright, that was it for the waxlings. Now I just have to finish off. Maybe shaving will be the last thing. Maybe some medicine first. Oh, no. Something else is hiding within his innards. Where is it? Oh, oh. I hate the plants. I have grown to hate them because of the slight movement. And then the patient moves around. 
and then you accidentally like, poke one of the little thorns. Ugh. Well, here we go. Round two. Let's try again. All right, let's go, Quack. All right, come on. Ah, ah. See, there I am dropping the band-aid all the way down again. A little bit finicky sometimes with the placement on that band-aid. There was the oyster. Pop the blister. Pull the shirt off. Stitches. Okay, that did work. I was like getting a little bit concerned there that I was doing it too weirdly. So it felt like I wasn't doing a very good job of stitching that injury, but it was good enough. And that's all that really matters. Just doing good enough at being a doctor and doing doctor work. Imagine going to your doctor and they're putting some stitches in you. The stitches, super sloppy, look a little bit off, and your doctor just kind of shrugs and is like, eh, close enough. What's this strange feeling? Uh, I am cured? Oh, go on. Finish you too. Um, I guess finish the. Okay, he he somewhat did a weird walk right there, and I was a little bit concerned, like he was just gonna fall over and die after I healed him, and I was gonna freak out. Oh, is this the big boss quack? Yeah, look, he's got our potion there. Let's end this wonder, Doctor. Right here, right now. I challenge you to a sickly battle. Yeah, these fucking quacks have just gotten themselves infected on purpose to battle me. They're like, save me or I die! And then I kind of shrug and it's like, uh, okay. Uh, oh, fuck. The blood leeches. No, I got hit by that one. I was hoping I was gonna avoid that, but no. Stupid blood leeches. Alright. Slap them out of here. Now we've got pose, slight head tilt, shirt observation. Uh oh. Got another one of these blindness guys. Oh, fuck. Man, I accidentally poked one of those bugs and it reset all of the cutting for that section. Damn. Let's try this again. From the top. I feel like this is gonna be another case where we're gonna try to heal this quack several times. Before I'm successful. I wish I had a little bit more of a strategic way to work through the cotton candy beak, though. So. Oh, thank god. Ha <laughs> ha! Get out of here, pathetic loser ghosts! Alright, bring off the shirt. I bring out the scalpel and I cut along the lines. Da -da 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 -da. Carefully. Don't touch the thorn bug. Inside now. Almost. Success! We unlock the wax lamp. I exercise that ghost. Oh, another ghost? Alright, blisters being identified. Wax links being collected. There we go. There are the blisters off on the chain, spinning around at high speeds. I grab the blisters. Oh! As Quack is terrified by the final haunted ghosts, I exercise the ghost by a slap. We observe and look around the Quack to find thorns on various parts of his being. Where's the final ones? There's one, two. Stitch it across. Oh no! And then the patient was lost. 
Let's try this again. Man, for like most of the game, not needing to redo any of the patients like at all. And then I get to this point and it's just like, do it over and over and over again. It's not very forgiving to mistakes or slowness. Now, yeah, I might as well just end this point. That's, that's a dead run. Trauma Center Games. Oh my god, let me just draw myself a little pentagram to slow down time. All right, come on, give me the shaver so I can start shaving your beak. The random summoning location of that blood leech ghost too helps a lot. Like if it ends more off at the side where I'm not at anyway. Careful. Carefully working around, following after Thornbug. And we got the inside where I can be a little bit faster. Done. Waxling activated, ghost exercised, and then we start collecting them while simultaneously working on identifying blister locations. Okay, okay, okay. Exercise. Thorns. Located. Stitching. Completed. Oh, more wax links. Come on, baby. Was there one up at the window that I missed? Ah, oh, fuck. Unhappy one glasses. Oh, that wasn't it? What? I guess he didn't have any arms, but... Oh my god, I did get it though! Yeah! And hello there, Pain Saw, and welcome to the stream! What? How can this be? We cured you once and for all, Quex! Now hand over our potion! Never! I would rather feed it to the flames than you let you ruin our company! Let's test your rusty oven's capabilities! No! The potion, stop! I reach and try and grab it before it goes in, but I'm too slow and he gets there first. Um, my furnace rockets off into the atmosphere? Apparently that was also a rocket. It blows up in the sky. Golden clouds appear above, descending. Oh no, it's like a smoky mist, descending onto the grounds below. It's like a fireworks show. Now everything is all covered in this golden dust. There are the various ghosts, and that was the end. Thank you for playing. Did everybody die? Did I cure everyone? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. That's a little bit ambiguous, huh? Well, that's the end of Wonder Doctor. Who knows? Wait, hang on. Epilogue? See, I've got a pile of dust now. Oh, look. Stein's got a little chef hat. Did we become cooks? Is this flour? I grab the scroll, the newspaper from the bird. Entire world is cured. I've cured everybody. Hello there, kitty, and welcome to the end of the stream. Is this stone a genius or just an ordinary stone head? Strange golden liquid cures every single disease. Quack co board of directors behind bars. Look at them, the fools. And now we're Wonder Baker. Freshly baked every day. Try our salty, delicious pretzels. Oh. 
Oh man. And hello there, Azumi, and welcome to the stream. Here's the umbrella cutter. I remember him. Oh, a whole world cured, eh? Wow, magnificent. I want one freshly baked pastry, please. Who oh, by coming right up? Pull the switch. This pastry looking a little bit contaminated. I powder it up. I feed it to him. We actually did it, doctor. He leaves. Butter Carver enters. Quite the sensation. I want three tasty delights, please. All right, um. Hmm. I think this guy was the first one we slapped, yes. Did we ever save Cardboard Guy? Well, it depends on what you're viewing it as, exactly. Because, uh, you... Unless Cardboard was actually a disease, he was never sick whenever he came by. What if he was always just a Cardboard Man? What if pastries are the result of a new disease? I don't know. The potion really did the trick. Oh, can't believe it. Hello, oh, baker, sir. I want one freshly baked pastry, please. What if the pastries are laced similarly? To the potions and this was stein's plan the entire time to make addictive pastries bang up job doctor sir i want three freshly baked pastries please one two three we actually did it, Doctor. Feel free to go back to the main menu any time. My immersion broken! How dare you refer to the main menu to me, Stein? I slap him across the face. Just, just like so. Never say main menu to me again. No more diseases, eh? I want two sweet dough breads, please. Well then, Chet, obviously. This is now the end of the game. Here we are, after everybody has been cured. We just become a baker. So, Chet, thank you everybody who came by to watch. Thank you for those who resubscribed and followed. All of it's very appreciated. I had a good time playing this. It was pretty good. And then tomorrow we'll play some Equilinox. And I should also mention too that the little animals that start, that you spawn in and they start evolving, you can name them. Which means I can name them after the people in chat. There could be a little dunder sheep walking around baing. Or dying. Who knows? But they do all die eventually anyway. So that dunder would be dead dunder at some point. So, I'll go ahead and just swap now to the end screen. Don't forget, today is the final day for voting for chat's choice. So if you wanted to put in your final vote, I haven't looked at it. Uh, I think last I had looked, Reseteer was just barely winning. Have they swapped around? I have no idea. But otherwise, vote if you want to. Don't if you don't want to. And I'll see you next time, huh? But first, I guess, let me just set on a raid. Hmm. Hmm. I guess all of these people were kind of like monsters, right? I see GB is playing 
Not the GB that was in chat, but GBF6 is playing some Monster Prom. So go watch him date all of the monsters. And maybe heal them with love. Thanks again, everybody, for coming on by to watch. And I hope I'll see you tomorrow, next time. Farewell.